Kenny Jones and Roger Daltrey have dropped in. Roger, thank you very much for coming along, and thank you for staying in view of the fact that we showed those pictures yeah, of the hoop. Yeah, old stuff. That is rather old, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Does that make you flinch? Too old. Not really, no. I, I, it's not too long ago since I saw some of that stuff anyway. Yeah. We, we, we were just doing a film, kind of biographical film of that, those early days. Right. So it's not, but I must admit, the first time I saw it, <laughs> I was a bit... <laughs> Takes your breath away a bit. Um, you were, in fact, going to come on the programme next week, but you're, you're off to America. How much time do you spend in America? Not a lot, but um, it's a big market for us, so... I mean, a couple of weeks a year. We haven't mm. toured for a long time, but we'll be touring at the end of this year. Is so, I mean, it's not an awful lot of time. But is there one thing in particular that's kept The Who going for so long? Because... You've, you've been away from all the journalists' things about splits, and, and you've maintained a very consistent success rate with records, and you've conquered the American scene, which not every successful British band has done. Well, I don't think there's only one thing. I mean, um, we used to, I mean, we swallowed our egos a long time ago, so we don't have that kind of ego friction in the band. And we like being in a band. We have a lot of laughs, and it's, mm. it's better than nine to five in. Right. It's terrific. Yeah. Yeah. I've also got to ask you, I mean, the, the very sad thing that happened this year, how much is the loss of Keith going to alter what you're doing? Uh, that's impossible to say. Um, it's never going to be the same, but uh, to me it's opened a lot of doors. I mean, we can do anything now. I mean, people shouldn't be expecting anything, and whatever happens, mm. uh, it'll be different. It'll never be the same. Right. I mean, uh, Kenny's played with us before on a few tracks on... Yeah. Uh, the, what was it, the Tommy soundtrack? Yeah, that's right, yeah. The film you just soundtrack. You my question. Uh oh <laughs> Was that your question? Yeah. Oh, right. There you go. <laughs> then I will pass over it very quickly <laughs> and think of something oh, was else. Was that your question? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought, uh, I thought I'll stick to your one, then. What's the name of our new drummer? <laughs> 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 so you, you knew the, the guys anyway? Oh, yeah. I worked with them over the years, you know. How did the years. actual join come about? Can you reveal how you... How you well, Bill Kirby uh, called me and said... Uh, would I like to join the band? Can I come up to the office and all that? And I went up and met Pete and spoke to Roger and on the phone here and there, and it was just sort of slotted into place, you know. Mm. Well, I've, I've always felt part of it because because I've known everybody for so long. Yeah, he's you know from I mean? the same era. Yeah. I mean, the small faces started at the same time we did. That's right. Yeah. And he's a Londoner, which is good. East End. Yeah, that's the only trouble. I mean, we're the West End and he's East End. Yeah, right. And they, big, they, they say never the twain should be. <laughs> yeah, right. but... We get on all right. What sort of work have you, have you been doing together recently? Um, not a lot. We've, done it, we've been producing films for the last year. Mm. Um, they're finished now. Um, we're going to go in the studio three weeks' time yeah. to start a new album or mm. a new single. So we haven't really done any musical work. No. A couple of tracks. Just uh, finishing and up. And we're going to do some pieces. shows. And is a tour of Twickenham. That, that is actually going to happen, is it? Because there's all sorts of rumours that finally that we were going to see live Who again. Yes. That, no, will, I mean, that will happen. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Right. Yeah, what, definitely. When? Well, we're planning to do a gig somewhere in Europe in May, early May. Yeah. And then uh, hopefully a Europe, that means uh, an English to tour. <laughs> yeah, an, in, an English tour in August, September, mm -hmm. hopefully, or, or an English gig of some sort, and mm. Christmas shows. I mean, it, it's going to take a bit of time, because it is a new band. Right. Much, you know. and, and a lot of established rock bands say that it, it's so difficult to do live work now. It costs so much money to do a tour, yeah, and the organisation is phenomenal. I mean, does that worry you at all? There's never any money in touring. It's never been any different. Um, the only time you make any money in this business is, is when you have a hit record mm. in America, because there's no... <laughs> if you have a hit record in England, the time the tax man takes his money, there's no money so in So what's the motivation for actually going out well, on the Well, there's no road. point in being in a band unless you're playing in front of people. I mean, making records is so boring. Is it I mean, really? Singing the four walls, it's terrible. I would have thought you might have maybe no, found that a challenge yeah. at the I'm not studio. I'm not in the studio. It's Horrid. You know. But you do a lot of session work as well for, for other people. Yeah, I do. You've got yeah. to pay the rent, haven't you? Oh, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so the real, the real driving force, the real encouragement is to get up there in yeah, front of, front of a... people. Yeah. That's, really, yeah. that's, that's all that matters. Really. I can't wait, you know, because it's. Uh, I've never been in a in another band. Mm. You know what I mean? No, so. have I? <laughs> Strange, isn't it? <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Yeah, right. Grab a telephone and let's uh, find out. There's, a, there's one buried in the herbage just there by you, Roger. Let's find out what the question is that's uh, currently flashing on line four. Hello. 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 Who's this? Uh, Simon Coons. Hello, Simon. I'd like to ask Roger, when's the film The Kids Are Alright coming out? 
Ha-ha. <laughs> um, I think, with a bit of luck, it should be out at the beginning of June. But yeah. um, we've had a few problems with it. In the, it's technical problems, really, because a lot of the Kids Are Alright was originally done for TV. And so it's on video. And when you want to swap that to 35mm for cinema, um, if you're not careful, you end up with great big lines across the screen. And it's been quite a problem getting rid of those, but we are there now. Okay. So it should be out in June with a bit of luck. All right. Thank and you it's quite a good film, I think. I haven't seen it myself, but I've, I've been told it's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simon. OK, Simon. Yeah. Line six. Hello. Hello, what's your question? Um, I'd like to speak to Roger. Fine, hello. sorry, I didn't get your hello, name. Hello, Roger, it's Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Lisa? Where is Lisa? Oh, hello. It's a cousin, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's a family on the phone. Down you, the road, you, know? you were worried no one would <laughs> ring, so you got the family to ring. Um, Roger, I want to ask you what's your ambition? Amb <laughs> ambition. Come on, let us in um, on this. What, what, well, that's I mean, so funny. Last year, my ambition was to get the Who back on stage, which looks like that's going to happen this year. Um, I've got another ambition this year, and that is to uh, make a film, which I've been trying to get off the ground for oh, it's three years now, about a guy called John McVicker, mm -hmm. who was a, a bank robber. And it's not a film that's going to glorify criminals, but it's a film I want to make because it's a very interesting story. Mm. Um, that is my ambition this year, to say that. Oh, and Tasha wants to know, can we come and stay at Easter? Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, right. What okay. is going on It's It's <laughs> family. <laughs> Thank you for the call. Okay, bye. I bye, love. bring you at home. Line one. Hello. Hello, who are you? Sajor Korea. You're who? Sajor. Well, I can see it written down there. It looks very nice. Sajor, hello. What's your question? Oh, I'd like to ask Kenny, um, what do you have to do to become a pop singer? A pop? Oh, I'm not a singer. You better <laughs> ask Roger. Don't ask uh, me. Ask the drummer. No, I'm a drummer. I, I don't know. You just have to want to do it and not want to go to do an ordinary job. I mean, that's what it was for me. I left school and I hated going to work every day and I thought, oh, anything's better than this. And I couldn't stand it in a crowd, so I, I, I wanted to get on the stage. And it started from there, really. But I started as a guitarist, and I wasn't very good at that. So I went on to singing, and I wasn't very good at that for quite a long time. But I, I think I've got better. Yeah, yeah and um, at what age did you start singing? Oh, what, professionally? Yeah. Um, about 17. Yeah, about that. I did, I did it earlier on when I was about 14. I used to play in a skiffle group and play, play in pubs and things. But um, not seriously. OK, thank you. All right, love. <laughs> thank you very much. Line two. Hello, this is Gillian Boyne. Hello, Gillian. What can we um, do for you? I'd like to ask Roger a question. Mm -hmm. um, when you do concerts, do you have a favourite concert hall? Oh, that's a difficult one. Um, not really. They're all basically the same. I mean... There aren't many good places to play in England. That's one of the problems with England. Um, so you make the best of, you know, the worst, if you like. I mean, there's, there aren't any good places in England. Uh, if you're talking about just the, the area to play, everywhere's good. Kids are great all over the world. But as, as far as halls go, there aren't anywhere... There isn't anywhere really good in England. Mm. Oh, thank you. All right, love. Right. thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. By the way, one of the things you talked about when you came on the programme last time, Kenny, was your, your leaping about on horses and things. How's that going? Oh, yeah. Can I put that down? Now? Yes, you can. I don't know why I was holding on to it. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, I was watching you. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the phones. I hate the phone. Right. Last time you, <laughs> yeah. The reason I asked that, last time you came on the programme, we had yeah. a lot of correspondence from people saying, where could they actually see you leaping about yeah. on a horse? Well, I do it every year, you know, the Royal International Show Jumping at Olympia. Mm. Uh, this year, I came second. But you should have won. I should have won, yeah. I knocked the, the upright pole down. <laughs> giggling over there. Why, why is the giggling from Maggie well, over there? She was on it as well. She's going to win. She was on the horse you. with you? Oh, not with me, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Would have been more fun. That's right, yeah. <laughs> and you, you don't actually go riding, but you do have four-legged animals in fast Yeah, horses, I mean, don't you? horses to me take too much looking after. <laughs> I like cows that look after themselves. You know? She got a big place down in Sussex. I've got a farm, yeah. I like farming. Uh, but it is a very beautiful place. I mean, you're calling it a farm, but I... No, it is a farm. It's a working farm. It has to be. Yeah. And that's where you live? And presumably you have yes, a manager yes. or somebody? Well, I've got a farm manager, yeah. Mm. I don't have to, really. Right. Because I'm away so much. Do you eat what you grow? Yes. We've just eaten Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a bit tough. I kept it... <laughs> I believe Harry. in that. I think, if, I think if you love what you, I mean, if you literally love what you eat and then eat it, yeah, what you're going to eat and then eat it. Yeah, I bet Harry was not that released about the idea, though, was he? I don't know. It's the reason they're there, isn't it? If, if I yeah. mean, if we didn't eat meat, they wouldn't be there. Right. I mean, full stop. Well, you're quite. <laughs>
just take an awful yeah. step when you actually call them by a name. I'd better say hello to my... Can I say hello to my daughters? Certainly, yes. Hello, Rosie and Willow. What, that one? Where? They're watching at home. I promise oh, I'll say hello. Now you've done that, you put me in it. I'll have right, to do the same then. Yeah, got <laughs> hello, Dylan and Jesse. Well, we draw the line at the entire herd, if you mind, Roger. Yeah. Harry's I've got this well, Harry's herd herd in our family. Yeah. Harry's <laughs> friends. We had uh, Geoffrey Smith, who's our gardening friend on the programme. Eric, could you drop in the pot uh, with Geoffrey's spot card? <laughs> I think you've gone over the top again, Eric. It's <laughs> just a bit over-decorated, no one. Geoffrey asked a question, what does sport mean in gardening terms? It's <laughs> plastic. Thank you! Yes. Jeff Jeffrey, he's bound to be watching. He's going to be sick about this. We've got plastic flowers. Eric, you could have just got some real ones. Uh, who's going to have the delve? Go Pull on, a card Kenny, out. Kenny, Kenny, no, I don't, I don't want to do it. I can do it any time. We want a correct one out of there, and there's a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eric. You can take it away. Well, I'm led to believe that... Uh, this is the correct answer. A sport is a plant which differs in character from the normal of its type apart from variations arising from seed of hybrid origin. You knew that, didn't you? No, why would he gave it to you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nicola Faraday, who's aged 10, Chowell Drive, Brown Hills, West Midlands. Well done, Nicola. We'll be sending the books to you and the cactus garden. And watch this one here, because I've already stuck a spindly thing in myself from there. Now, we were talking about the question earlier. I don't yeah, know whether you've blown it, yeah. the question That's or what we're going to have. Why don't we um, put it all into one? That's easier, isn't it? And if we it's your question. Lot. What's the, oh, yeah. All right, well, tell us what, what you brought along for, well, our, uh, for our swap. Then Kenny's we... bought a snare drum. Yeah. Premier snare drum. Does that mean you're going to be a bit quieter Premier in the future? Drum. Premier snare drum. Yeah. Actually used by you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's given them up. He's going to start singing. Yeah. Says it's uh, easier. And I bought um, some records, mm -hmm. and this is a, an American picture disc, which is kind of a collector's item. Yes, they are becoming very popular. Um, and a shrunken tracksuit, <laughs> which is my... Who are you? Tracksuit. Mm -hmm. Good right. That's it, really. So, uh, what, what's the question you're both going to agree? I mean, you better start agreeing if you're going to go out working well, together and doing concerts. Do you, do you want to put it on one? Yes, come yeah. on, we'll put it down um, on one. The question, question is, uh, what did the what did the Who record their first record? What name did they record their first record under? Good. That's great because uh, the same four people. True Blue Who fans will uh, know that, and it's postcards, please, on that one. The first record. What were you called? Yes, on our first record. On the very first record. Jolly good. Line three is busy. Let's take a couple more calls. Try and get them in before the end of the programme. Hello, line three. Hello. Hello, who are you? I'm Tim Salford. Hello to you, Tim. What can we do for you? Um, I would like to speak to Roger, please. Hello, right. Tim. Hello, all right? Yep. Good. Um, Lovely what do you feel like being on telly? <laughs> uh, very nervous. I hate it. I mean, it's... <laughs> <laughs> We're trying um, to make it's, you relax. It's, it's, it's much better when it's late at night and you've had a few drinks. <laughs> this time of day, it's terrible. Well, you're, you're on the television as well, Tim, in, with your voice. What's it yeah, like? Yeah, I feel very happy. You feel very happy? Yeah. You've probably already had a few drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Could I um, ask for Roger's autograph? Right. We always yeah, do, it do it once to the first person who asks, so we'll, we'll get an address from you. Thank and, you very much. And we'll organise that. Right. Thank, thank you, Tim. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Line Bye. five. Hello. Hi, who's this? It's Judith. Hello, Judith. Can I speak to Roger, please? Certainly. Hello, Judith. Hello. Uh, what do you think of Alan Loving, Tommy? In um, the musical? I, I, I haven't seen it in the West End. I saw it when it was first started at Hornchurch. Yeah. Um, I think he does a good job. I mean, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I, I had to get off of it. I mean, I couldn't do it anymore. I mean, I think he does a good job. Yeah. Uh, I think he's... I, I think... He'd do better if he had his hair cut. <laughs> 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 I'm dying to get mine off. I feel like an aged hippie. <laughs> but I'm waiting for a film to do that. <laughs> OK, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Bye. Bye. OK, well, unfortunately, we do have very, very little more time. Um, I wish you the very best of luck with the, the live concerts. That's, that's very exciting stuff because uh, yeah. we continue to get people writing in and saying, when are you going to get back together again and uh, get out there? So it looks like one European date at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, one European one, to, just to kind of uh, get the feel of it. Yeah. And then do some, hopefully, a big summer gig around about in August yeah. in England. Summer? What's summer? <laughs> a long way away. <laughs> You've just come back from the Barbados and you're just going off to America. Yes. Do you want anyone to carry your bags? I'll come. The programme ends <laughs> next week. <laughs> Roger, thank you very much oh, for coming pleasure. along. Uh, good luck with your haircut as well. Thank you, Kenny. And That's we get a chance to see Roger, do you?